Well, for years, Bayshore High alumni and their family members have expressed concerns over the number of alumni and former faculty members who developed cancer. The Florida Department of Health is now working on a study to determine if there is a cancer cluster in the area. SNN Samantha Sonner has a closer look. Multiple environmental studies, including soil and groundwater tests, found no cancer-causing agents at Bayshore High School. Now the Florida Department of Health is looking at medical data. We emphasize that we empathize with those who have health concerns about the students, faculty, and staff of Bayshore High School. They're asking those who worked and went to school there and later developed cancer to provide them with information. A brief medical history of themselves or the person who was diagnosed with the cancer, specifically what type of cancer, approximate date of diagnosis, and name of hospital or doctor who diagnosed them. The data collected will be studied by the University of Miami and the Florida Cancer Data System, with results expected in fall 2018. We need to determine if there's a cancer cluster and if it was caused by they're going to Bayshore High School. So we encourage everyone to please participate in this study. The more information we have, the more valid it's going to be. Manatee County School District says they will be spreading the word through social media and with the help of concerned groups that have been raising awareness. We will ensure that they have the information as well so that they can uh, share it with other family members, other um, people who may no longer live in the state of Florida, yet they attended Bayshore High. Cheryl Joe's sister died of leukemia after attending Bayshore. She now runs the Bayshore High Concerned Alumni Facebook page. She's concerned that the main outreach to alumni is through social media. Because I feel like the burden is on us and we're already the victims. So I feel like we are bearing the brunt of the responsibility of contacting people when we've already contacted a lot. The Department of Health will be collecting data through the end of February. Reporting in Manatee County, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And you can find information on how to participate on, in the study on our website, snntv.com.